All right, welcome back to another How To Arma 3. And today we're going to go into detail about arrays. One big question about arrays is how to select items from a multi dimensional array using select. An array is a list of items of varying variable types. Different types of variables can coexist within the same array. An array can either be one or multi-dimensional. A multi-dimensional array is an array which contains other arrays. To help explain this, we're going to create some units using data from within a multi-dimensional array. Here, we have a multi-dimensional array with data for spawning three different types of units. In order to select an item from an array, you first need to know the index position of the desired item. Let's divide our array into its indexes. The outermost brackets contain what we're going to call our multi-array. Next, let's mark off our three main inner arrays. Before moving on, let's talk about select. Select is a scripting command used to grab items from inside of an array. The most basic syntax is as follows. Array select index. An index is the position in which the item is inside of an array. If we select an item from our multi-array, it will return one of our main inner arrays. Remember that array indexes will always start with zero. Here you'll see the index position of our main inner arrays. Select can only point to an item inside of one array layer at a time and cannot select an array item nested inside of another array using its basic syntax. So the question is, how do we get to the items nested in our innermost arrays? To explain that, first let's select our unit array that contains an op4 soldier. Let's use op array equals multi array select zero. Op array will contain all of the items in our first main inner array. So if we want to select the op4 unit class name, it would look something like this. Our multi array op array equals multi array select zero. Then unit equals op array select zero. Op array will isolate our first main inner array. Then unit will isolate the unit class name in the zero index position of our first main inner array. But to make this process faster and cleaner, we will need to use a syntax that utilizes parentheses, which is also the method that is most commonly used in ARMA3 scripting. Just like math, in a line of code, anything inside of parentheses will be evaluated first. Let's select our op4 soldier class name, but using the parentheses method this time. Starting with our multi-array, but this time we'll jump straight to our local variable unit. Unit equals open parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we'll put multi-array select zero. Then after our parentheses, select zero. We've basically done the same process, but in a more compressed manner. You'll see that the code inside of the parentheses will result in an array. And since it was evaluated first, the next select command will have an array in which to select an indexed item from. Now that we know how to select items from our multi-dimensional array, let's create a script that can spawn units using the data in our multi-array. We are going to use the command execvm to execute our script and also to pass an argument on the left side. This will allow us to tell our script which type of unit we want it to spawn. An argument is just outside information we can give to the script before it runs to inform it of some kind of data it doesn't have access to, or in our case, data to modify how it functions. Let's start by using zero as our argument. Our arguments will be stored in their own special array that can be accessed with the magic variable underscore this. Think of it as this equals an array in which we can select items from, just like a normal array. All right, let's write our script, and we'll start with our multi-array, followed by a local variable index equals this select zero. We'll use the number stored in index to select which of our inner unit arrays we wish to pull data from. Next, we'll set up a couple variables, unit, location, and unit side. Starting with unit, we'll open parentheses, 
And like we did before, we'll say multi array select index. Let's remember that index will contain a number, in this case, zero. Then select zero. The same parentheses for location and unit side. And for location, select one. And unit side, select two. And since we're selecting from our first main inner array that contains the data for our op4 soldier, this is what our variables unit, location, and unit side will look like. Unit will contain the class name of the soldier. Location will be where we want him to spawn, and unit side will be the side in which we want his group to be on. Finally, let's spawn our unit. We're going to use the command create unit to do so. Now this is all going to make more sense, since create unit requires a couple pieces of information. Create unit requires the name of a group, a unit class name, and a location in order to spawn a unit. In Armor 3, every unit must be within a group. So first, let's create a group. We'll say group equals the command create group unit side. Then finally, new unit equals group create unit open brackets unit location empty brackets 10 and none. The empty brackets is for marker names we don't need right now. 10 is going to be the spawn radius. None is its special and we don't want it to do anything different than just spawn and stand there. Now, every time we execute the script using execvm and the argument 0, our script will spawn an op4 soldier at the designated location. For us, it will be right here on this red marker. And just for show, let's change our argument to spawn a blue 4 soldier and then an independent soldier. To spawn blue 4, we'll just change our argument to 1, and to spawn a green soldier, we'll change our argument to 2. And that's the basics of selecting from a multi-dimensional array. This has been Arma 3 How To, and that's how that works. If you've made it to the end of the video, make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more full-length videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe.